For all the JWs that shunned me and now suddenly have permission to text me or call me for an invitation to the Kingdom Hall, you guys not only get one finger, but two middle fingers. Okay, for those who don't know, um, the Jehovah's Witnesses have changed their shunning policy. They are still shunning, but they only changed it slightly, right? For those who don't know, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses have a practice that if you uh, leave, uh, if you were a member and you leave or you break the rules, one of those many silly rules that they have, and you get uh, shunned. You, you, many lose uh, family members because of the lost contact with family members. Uh, in some extreme cases, brings to suicide. So there was this uh, governing body update. The governing body are the ba or basically the cult leaders of the Jehovah's Witness, and they came with a new rule that now, usually when a ex-member or uh, a disfellowship person or excommunicate person enters the kingdom hall no one gets to talk to them now they get to say hi you get to say hi the members get to, to, to be normal human beings and greet them and say how they're doing keep it short but they they don't have like full on it's not like they could completely be social with them but, uh, it, but I, could, I could see family members being a bit more flexible with this new rule and and coming coming back in contact with, with uh, excommunicated members. But anyways, this is kind of like a big deal. Now, there's only one exception though. There's only one exception. The um, uh, experts like me who are activists, they, they still don't contact. So, uh, which I'm fine. Like in, in all honesty, uh, I don't really need um, to reconnect with my ex cult members. Uh, I, I've already made real friends. Uh, I think I'm good, I'm, I'm good, I, I, it's fine. Um, so um, yeah, that's one of the, so basically that is what is happening due to the uh, new update. The reasons why for this change. Now, Joe Vincent will say it's a love of provisions, they're being progressive, Holy Ghost, end times, so on, so on, whatever, whatever, right? Uh, but the real reason why they have changed the, 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 the shunning, or at least are in the process of changing it, is because basic, simple fact is that they're losing members and they're losing money. Also, the governments are like really uh, cla clapping their cheeks, man. They're clapping, they're clapping them cheeks of the governing body of the organization. They're losing money. Uh, for example, in, Nor in Norway, they lost their tax benefits. They are not recognized as religion anymore. So they have lost money from the government in Norwegian. There's, um, I think I'll, I'll, I'll add links. Otherwise, you can pretty much find a lot of um, uh, XJW Norway, I think you could find in YouTube plenty of material material on it. It's, but it's not only Norway, because of this, it's creating a domino effect. Spain and right now the Netherlands. The Netherlands is right now uh, one of the chairmen of a, a political party, SP. SP uh, has started a debate in the parliament here and they are uh, re-examining re the Jehovah's Witnesses about the shunning policy. So, they're right now, the job members are like right now getting pressured uh, by us activists. They're being pressured by the government 
they're being pressured by the, by, by the by the common people, people of, uh, in the uh, the public. Everybody's now looking at them, going like, "Huh, what are they doing?" So now they're trying to change things so that they can stay relevant. Because if they don't change, they'll go bankrupt, and that's the reality. Joe Wins is the organization, the Watchtower. It's not a religion; it's just a printing press company that acts like a religion. And you can see it behaves like a company because it's more interested in making money rather than the the, the health benefits or the well-being of their members. Now, for some witnesses, there's some uh, in the SJW that things nothing has changed. Uh, this is big. This is big. I, I honestly think, maybe I'm being naive, maybe I'm too optimistic, but I honestly think this is big because in this 100-year history of Jehovah's Witness, this is, this is a big deal because they, if, you, if you have asked me at least uh, a, a few years ago I wouldn't, uh, and told me that Jehovah's Witness will soften up the shining, I wouldn't believe you. Uh, if you told me that they will uh, permit beards, I wouldn't believe you. Uh, they even start now. Uh, sisters in the congregation can wear slacks; they don't have to wear skirts. Um, they're they're changing. It's, it's just you know to be honest, all these small changes are just it's a joke. It's, it's ins and to be honest, it's kind of insulting uh, to think that that's the reason why I left, or what are what, what are the many reasons? One of the reasons why XJWs have left this cult. It's silly. It's not because of the facial hair or because we don't get to wear skirts, as the sisters, you know, we, I mean, <laughs> the sisters don't get to wear pants. <laughs> now nah, I can, I can do whatever I want now. I can, I can now, you know, I can grow a beard if I want to now. I can shave it, it doesn't, so why do I really have to be a Jewish so I can get to have uh, facial hair? It's just silly. Uh, so I think this is big and I think also, I don't think, I, I think it's safe to say that uh, I don't think there are 8 million Jewish worldwide. I think it's less than maybe two million. Uh, I think most of them are inactive, uh, PMO, physically in, mentally out. They're not even. They just stay for family and friends. And I think it's yeah. I think it's probably like two million. So this is not a loving provision that the Javanese are doing. It, it, it is. They're being desperate. This is desperation. They're losing money. They're losing members. So. Yeah, so I think I was planning uh, for my Dutch YouTube channel to to start a podcast, but I don't know if I should. I don't know if I can do it any because, uh, I, for example, I wanted to make an episode about why you shouldn't, uh, why you folks don't celebrate birthdays and holidays. But with so many changes, I wouldn't be surprised if they change that too. And I think, I think my work here is done, man. I think it's done. Uh, I've uh, the, the the right now the the Dutch foundation I guess Watch It Out Shining with Gideon and Henry they're doing a great job um, in Norway the activists in Norwegians uh, in the region are doing a, did a wonderful job there uh, the ex witnesses there yeah I don't think I I don't think I have to do anything yeah, yeah you can still you know if you feel like it you can still subscribe and like and maybe in the future I'll still make. Uh, I don't think I'll be making any XGW content. Uh, maybe I'll talk more about philosophy and atheism. Maybe is that the thing I might do over a year? I don't know. So I think I'm done, man. I think we're. I think I'm done. I don't think there's anything I can contribute uh, already. Oh, by the way, there's a new documentary uh, in the streaming service Videoland. Videoland uh, here is a well-known streaming service here in the Netherlands. And uh, there's, uh, there's a documentary called Jehovah Letting Go of God. It's a rough t translation. Uh, God los is actually, yeah, it, it actually means something uh, like being unhinged or, or um, basically being immoral. It, it, it is one of those um, Dutch terms that's really, really hard to translate in other languages, right? But... I think letting go of God is a very good translation in this case because uh, they are letting go of the cult, Jehovah, because I don't see the uh, Jehovah as God uh, because, he, to be honest, the more correct naming of the Abrahamic God is Yahweh. So, uh, so, uh, so letting go of Jehovah, letting go of, in this case of God, uh, is letting go of the cult. But... Yeah, I think I'm done, man. I think uh, I'll be, I think, I, because even now, right now, I'm having a hard time 
uh, starting this video, I hardly even have time to do this, to be honest, uh, because I, I'm so busy with my, with my company. I've been starting doing investments. Um, I, I party less uh, because I'm not the youngest anymore. I'm <laughs> getting, a, I'm not like really old, but I'm not, I'm, I'm no spring chicken either. Um, so that's been doing less. I've, I've, I've been taking it easy. I think uh, I think uh, I remember telling friends that once the shining is over, I'll just be like Thanos. He snapped his finger and then the half the universe uh, disappeared, and then he goes to a planet and starts a farm. In my case, I won't start a farm. I think I'll start a. Uh, I think I'll just live in the Caribbean. I think I'll. I'm right now saving money to buy a house in Curacao. Maybe Aruba. Maybe even both. I'll see. I'll see how it goes. Uh, I think, um, yeah, I think it's, I'm think I'm good, man. I think uh, my work here is done. The cult, is, this is the beginning of the end. Like, I know a lot of things, nothing's changed, yada, yada. Uh, look, man, this, um, I'm, I'm happy for the new generation. They don't have to suffer what I suffered, right? They don't have to go through the shunning process. At least it'll be more humane, even though they should completely remove it. But the fact that um, uh, I get to contribute, because this is, not, this is a team effort. I didn't do this alone, obviously, right? There's, uh, there's a lot of XJW businesses, a lot of uh, XJW activists on YouTube that inspired me. And uh, I have to admit, yeah, they, a lot of you have, have inspired me to, to, to make these videos. And now uh, I don't think I need to do this anymore. I think I could just move on now. I can live my life and uh, live in my cute little house in the uh, on a Caribbean island. I think that's what I'm gonna do. That's gonna be my end goal. And yeah, yeah, can't wait. Anyways, once again, for the ones that have been this fellowship, this is not this is not coming from the kindness as you probably. No, this is not coming from the kindness of the governing body's heart. This is just money. Uh, take good care, please, of yourself. And yeah, have a nice day. Hey, it's me again. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. Oh, I, I didn't forget. Uh, it's a new update. While well, before I recorded this video, uh, so, by the way, I'm going to warn you, this podcast is going uh, to be a little podcasty. <laughs> it's going to be a little rambling. I'm going to ramble a bit, but I'll try to make it as coherent as possible. Uh, so, I got the news that my language group will be removed in April. Uh, so, upcoming month of this uh this podcast <laughs> I call it podcast but I mean video to video but it feels like a podcast right now so yeah uh, they will remove uh, the language group. now for those who don't know uh, many congregations have a language group that uh, so it could be Spanish it could be other and here in the Netherlands uh, in this uh, in the city that I live in uh, we had what you have the Caribbean uh, from Curaçao, you have the language Papiamento. So we had the Papiamento language group. So I heard that it's going to be removed. Uh, and I won't lie if I said that uh, <clears throat> that I play a big role in it. <laughs> I think I play a big role in it. Uh, I'm taking all the credit if I want. If, if I could, I'll take all the credit, but I can't fully take all the credit. But uh, but I did uh, I did play a big role because once, uh, long story short, when I got excommunicated, I was very loud. Uh, I made a YouTube video, I, I sent it to friends, social media, and all the the ones that was that were willing to listen to me listened to me. That was because I was a very active JW. I was a very a, a very active JW. I even became a ministerial servant. So I uh, uh, and so a lot of uh, apparently there were some who did not agree with me being excommunicated. It got to the point that uh, one member, especially that I even baptized and gave Bible study, he just moved to another congregation because he was like he didn't like the way they was uh, the way they talked about me. 
and so and the fact that it was a very small group uh, very few brothers obviously so me not coming back pretty much put a big dent in that group and uh, because I, I already had a feeling because I don't know if I told this story before but I'll say it now I, uh, I remember walking away from the supermarket and there was this small I think a Toyota Igo stopped uh, next to a roundabout and there was one of those elders one of the elders from a judicial committee that wanted to really speak to me and his tone the way he spoke he was like hey Yuri he said it in Pimento like can I, can I call you and I expected to be very angry at him maybe even shout him or curse him out but I, when I saw him all I saw all I saw was a old man just a man not an elder anymore because but then I already did a lot of research and realized this was a cult and I looked at him and I said quietly I said it nicely I said no no need and I just walked away but looking back it, it makes sense now because I think they knew that the language group was in trouble uh, me being gone and I will uh, that hunch that I had was correct so uh, and now uh, my mom told me and my mom <laughs> she's now physically and mentally questioning she's still uh, I think if when having a, a, a honest conversation with my mom she's in the skull because you no know, she's up in that age she's a senior and doesn't have a lot of friends and this is her I don't know this little book club that she has that she, she gets to do something she gets to move around and stuff like that I guess so on one hand I kind of understand it and I guess that's also one of the reasons why I'm glad that I do this activism so I can so we can more or less take the sharp teeth out of this cult and make it as harmless as possible uh, obviously, you can never really destroy a religion completely. It will always exist to a certain extent. There have been cults and religions that have disappeared eventually. So that possibility can also happen with the Jehovah's Witnesses. I, I do see them aging out. Uh, a lot of them are aging. And uh, the new generation is, is not as open to be a member of a very homophobic, very sexist organization so it makes sense that they would uh, die out eventually so and my mom I told my mom yeah see I told you the elders were corrupt the organization was corrupt and she does agree with me and she's yeah she knows and she she admitted like yeah you're you leaving played a very big part in the language group being removed and so it, this is pretty much it pretty much also confirms how the governing body is behaving like uh, I would be surprised if it get <laughs> I would be surprised if I talk to my mom tomorrow and she told me like yeah they, they're planning on keeping it anyways I'll, I'll be surprised I guess I'll give an update <laughs> on that but I don't think so I think it's gone uh, most of the members uh, of the Pimento group are elderly they're elderly <laughs> uh, I want to say it nicely I don't know saying that they're old just sounds mean <laughs> even though it's true but elderly is much nicer and yeah I think it and that's I think that's also one of the reasons why I just stop I want uh, that's one of the reasons I think I'm stopping with being an activist even though I was even though I was a volunteer also at the Dutch uh, at the Dutch Foundation against Watchtower Shining I think my role is done I think I'm done man it's over it's um, the cult is slowly dying and it's thanks to all you ex Jehovah Witnesses all the activists governments uh, finally listening uh, I, I'm pretty sure I did my contribution I mean the language group is, is being removed so I, I did my part and yeah I'm glad uh, it's uh, yeah and that's why I can say goodbye uh, very, um, I think I'll if if I make a new video 
uh, it'll probably be in the podcast form. I don't think I'll make videos. V- making videos is very um, time-consuming, takes a lot of time, and uh, and, and my and due to technical issues that I have, it's making it really hard uh, to keep editing videos. So I think in the future, it'll probably be a year. I think I'm gonna give myself uh, a, a strict. It, it has to some, something crazy has to happen for me to decide. Uh, decide to 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 make another video like <laughs> if like uh, next month they announce okay guys you know what no more shunning <laughs> I'll probably go like okay guess I'll make another video about it uh, I think uh, even then I think I'll be in a podcast form I think I'll do it in a podcast form yeah so yeah um but unless that unless that doesn't happen and even if it doesn't I might still not make a video but I think I think it's safe to say goodbye. Uh, you can still subscribe. You can still like. It's fine. Yeah, there's a possibility that uh, even click on the bell button. <laughs> it could be in, in in the future that I might generally upload a new video, but it'll be in the far future. And I hope sincerely that it'll be in the far far future. I really want to move on. I really want to. How do you say, um, I really want to grow, I really want to leave this behind. It's yes, I will always be a XJW, that will always be part of me, just like um, like the ex of my ex fiance. but it's not who I am. I am not, that's not the only thing I am, let me put it that way. That's not the only thing I am. I am a human being with a lot of ambitions and ideas and creativity and I really want to express all those th- all those things so anyways uh, I hope you enjoy <laughs> this small little podcast uh, section uh, I'll make sure to put some nice uh, I think I'll put some some uh, nice uh, images video Im- images of Curaçao uh, while do- doing this and so you can enjoy it, but that's my plan. I, I, eventually, I really want to eventually live on the uh, on a Caribbean island in, in my in my old days. I'm looking forward to it. So for all the XJWs, just wanted to say there's a life after Watchtower. It's dying. It's over. There's justice in this in the universe. I say uh, right now, enjoy your life. Move on. And, um, and I wish you sincerely the best.